All right, Camping World 400. We are here, and uh, we've got the 90 engine, 90 overall engine on the car for the first time ever since we have upgraded to a 90 right before Talladega. So we finally got the Speedway car built up and ready to go. So we're maxed out on the engine power. We're maxed out, of course, on the suspension and the aero as well, uh, both at 80 as usual. Um, could have upgraded the aero to 85 as well uh, as the suspension. Holding off for now, still trying to put back money. We'll see how much speed this has. Problem is, I qualified 35th, so I don't know if we've got enough speed, but I guess there's only one way to find out, so let's hop right into this. Welcome, Welcome to, to Chicago, Chicago Land Speedway, Speedway for the Camping, Camping World 400. 400. This mile and a half D-shaped triangle is, is going, to going to be a formidable challenge. challenge. Will we, will we see, see a close, a close finish, finish today, or will, will someone breeze to victory here in your windy city? city. Let's, Let's send it down, down to the track, the track and, find and find out. All right, so we just came off of a race at Sonoma where we had a shot to finish top 10. We got our first career stage win there, so that was pretty cool. Uh, we came close to doing that a couple times at other tracks, but nice to know we got it out of the way. Now we can go for our first career race win that we've waited kind of a while. And we're past halfway through the regular season. Now the season in whole, we're almost halfway done once we get through Daytona, so we'll just have to see here. Green flag in the air, we're underway. Starting from 34th, not sure exactly what to expect here, but I mean, I'm hoping we've got enough speed in the car that we should be able to run like 20th to 25th, but I don't know why that's not really looking like the case right now. Where are we qualified? Man, we are really tight. Look at that roll. Back to 39th already. Of course, Blaney started at the rear of the field here. We're one lap in. Well, we're definitely way faster than Cody Ware, but... I don't know, I feel like we should be faster here. Practice and qualifying, I was able to hold three and four wide open. Let's see if I'm actually able to do that here. We're up to speed in the race. You would think I'd be able to. Yeah, we can. Barely. Oh, here comes Cody Ware, man. He's gonna get under us now. What the heck, man? Why are we in last right now? I don't understand. Got the car at its maximum power. I mean, I don't know. We really need to buy another chassis. Yeah, we could really start to work on upgrading the departments because obviously just upgrading the departments straightforward isn't working kind of ridiculous to be quite honest I don't know why we're in last felt all right in practice just didn't show speed and qualifying like I wanted to now we're running last in the race I mean this is ridiculous dude with 90 engine power we're not terrible on the arrow and the suspension so I don't know what the deal is here Yeah, this isn't really looking that fun right now. Oh, we passed Ryan Truex. Cody Ware making some moves through the field as well up there. Out in front, of course. Well, not out in front, but in front of us. We're gonna finish way towards the back here in this first stage. I'm glad we had a decent race at Sonoma. We had a good race going until that last lap. We would have finished top 10. I didn't lose control in the hairpin, but that's all right. Can't say we're not trying.
Oh boy. Got into the back of Matt Tip there. I was gonna try to slide under him and then I knew I wasn't going to, so I was gonna try to hit him square and help him down the back stretch. All right, we're moving up now. I mean, it just takes until about lap seven before the car becomes faster than everybody else ahead of me. And it's just way too long, unfortunately. So that's where the engine power really starts to come into play. We got Michael McDowell pushing us here. Gave us a nice push off of turn two. We carried a ton of speed. Might help loosen the car up a little bit. The rear bumper damage, believe it or not. All right, guys, give me room. We're coming. We are coming. Get to check up out of the gas a little bit. Get underneath uh, BJ McLeod. So we're going to finish 29th in stage one. Not too terrible. Compared to how we started the race, I don't know. We just did not get going on that initial start. I have a feeling it's going to be like that pretty much all day. Try a little pit strategy here. We'll take two tires. Won't repair any damage either. We'll get one can of fuel in here. So we just gained 14 spots on pit road. We're up to 15th. It's risky, but man, we're doing everything we can. We're probably not going to get stage points. Just trying to improve track position by the time we start the final stage of the race. Trying to get through these shifts here. into the inside not too bad try to get up to speed here at Chicagoland looking to the inside and chase Elliot now oh a little contact with Elliot that's not what I want we're doing all right we're doing all right try to go down to the apron again here that's probably not gonna work but Yep. Got guys under us now. Oh my gosh, we were four wide. Still three wide, too. Never made contact one bit there. That was pretty cool, honestly. Even though I got steamrolled by six, five drivers. Paul Menard giving us a little, little shot in the middle of the corner. That didn't help us at all. More contact now. Bubba Wallace to our inside. We've got eight laps to go in stage two, and things are not going our way again. We're loose getting into... Jesus. Oh my gosh. It's getting pancaked now. All two tires didn't work. I didn't think it was going to, but I also didn't think we were going to fall this far behind that quickly. This is terrible. This is just terrible. Probably gonna have a better finish in stage one than what we did, what we're gonna have here in stage two. I don't see us finishing 29th or better. The only other thing I could hope for is a caution comes out and everybody pits and we stay out and we get lucky enough to steal a stage win. Might be our best shot here to get some sort of points here before the end of the stage. I mean, this car is just terrible. Oh, car on the wall. There's the caution we need. Jimmy Johnson goes around. Caution's out. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like anybody's going to pit. So Johnson's out of the race. That's a big hit because we're chasing him in the point standings. So we're going to hit pit road, too. The only driver to hit pit road there. All right. We'll see. We might need to win that race at Daytona. 
It's going to be coming up next here, and it's going to be in this video, so I'm kind of nervous, to be honest, but we'll see. We got four fresh good years. Let's try to finish stage two out, gain some more track position to start the final stage so we can pit for four tires instead of just two. Hope for the best. Here, Jones leading the field right now. That caution could help us get a better finish by the end of the stage, but I'm not entirely sure. We're on the white flag lap. Three wide just in front of us. I don't think we're going to better our finish here in this stage. Unfortunately. I'm going to send it into turns three and four. That didn't work. We got really tight. But the last hope we had there to get extra stage points. We're going to finish 32nd at the end of stage two. So we uh, were three spots worse than what we finished in stage one. Just getting shellacked on speed. Jimmy Johnson still out of the race. So we can choose to stay out. Why not? We're doing it for track position only here. gonna hope for the best we only got two lap older tires but we're just so much slower than these guys I mean, we're the slowest car on the track for the first six seven laps of a run so Our older tires we'll just see we'll see we got a good jump on the restart there going into turn one might actually lead a lap under green we want a stage at Sonoma we only had to lead about a half a lap then the caution came out and won the stage that way but hey nevertheless we won the stage Now here at Chicagoland, just trying to hold on, washing up the track. Uh, Eric Jones is right there at the line. Dang it. Jones led the lap. Not that it was going to matter too much anyway, but Kyle Busch trying to give us a shot, get us going. And now we're four wide. Truex is loose in the middle of the corner. He makes contact with the two of Keselowski and Chase Elliott. Boots us into the wall now. Oh, my gosh. Come on, guys. Stop so annoying when they just hit you this is seriously career mode levels of Tony Stewart sprint car racing bad when they just hit you oh my god really I'm already in the wall why not even like trying to block these guys oh my gosh what the you've got to be kidding me you have got to be kidding me I don't even know how to explain what just happened. I mean, we're probably going to have to pull out the levels of uh, how we were racing on Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing and just treat you guys the way they treat us. I mean, we're going to have to race that way, I guess. I guess what I did at Sonoma was right after all. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Like, I know I'm on older tires, but they don't have to drill you from every which direction. They're not even rivals. Like, it's going to be my fault, too. It shouldn't be my fault I hit anybody in this race. But we're going to have some people annoyed at us thinking it was our fault. Whatever. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. We're going to finish dead last if we don't get a caution. Okay, not dead last. 39th, Jimmy Johnson's out of the race. And when he has a bad race and can help us out in the points big time is, sure enough, arguably our worst race of the season. What are the odds? 
You need to finish 15th or better too. I thought we were gonna have speed. With the engine power we've got, I thought we were gonna have speed, but that wasn't the case. I don't know how, I don't know how it's not the case though. I mean, we've literally brought the best car we've brought chassis wise to any track this season. Yet, this is our worst race on speed. On speed and just the way we've driven throughout the course of this race. Granted, it wasn't our fault we were driving the way we were. Because we were getting bombarded by other cars, but still. It's just ridiculous. Like, I don't know what I have to do to win. Not even win. I don't know what I have to do to be competitive. Because I'm not even competitive. Sonoma, you can argue I was. Which I was till the last lap of the race, but got a slow car up here. Is that gonna bring out a caution? Probably not. They like to throw yellows here. Actually, no. It looked like the car was slow at first, but I guess not. Yeah, we're gonna need a caution because otherwise our tires aren't even gonna make uh, make it to the end. Four laps to go. Well, one lap to the good on fuel, or about half a lap to the good on fuel, but our right front tire is extremely worn out. We're in 38th right now. I really don't want to damage the car. I don't know. Just have to remember when I go to Daytona, we're going to need a uh, short track chassis. A oh, little contact there with Brendan gone. Three to go. Yeah, I mean we're not gonna we're not gonna make it to the end of this race if we stay green. There's no way. I'm trying to take care of the tires at this point, but it's just not possible. I'm really trying to better my finish and grab every point I can. One point per position here, but this has been a rough stretch here over these summer months with these races. So we got two to go. We'll see. We need a caution like right now though. Eric Jones is about to get the white flag and he hasn't won yet this year either. So we could have a new winner when this race is over. White flag is in the air. Is our right front tire gonna make it to the end? Probably not, although I hope so. Come on, one more lap tire. One more lap. We're up to 30th. I don't think we're gonna gain any more spots in this race. But we can lose some if we blow that tire through three and four. Cause it is not looking good. Come on car, come on. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Tagged the 52 a little bit. Oh my gosh, we got lucky. That was a great save. That was a great save. Limping it home to 30th. That was not good at all, man. 90 engine power. Still 19th in points, but... Jimmy had a bad day too. He fell out. Uh, William Byron moves past him. Ryan Newman's the last guy in on points and he is 55 points ahead of us. So he's not a full race ahead, but he's pretty darn close. Yeah, Eric Jones, that was his first win of the year. So he's in the playoffs now. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine different winners so far, so we still have seven spots open in the playoffs. So we can still get a win and get in that way, and that's probably going to be the only way. We go to Daytona next. This is a big race because if we don't win this race, we're going to have to rely on Watkins Glen without a road course chassis. Just to get into the playoffs. I don't know, man. We'll see. 
Yeah, we already failed our incentive contract there. Oh, jeez. Thanks, Denny. Coriel Joy. Yep, there's the first of the uh, people that were upset with us after this race, even though it wasn't our fault for hitting people. They were running over us. Brendan Gone, man. He was one of them, too. He was one of the guys that hit us, I remember. And screw you, Cody Ware. It's miserable. Miserable stretch of the season. I really hope Daytona goes well. Two top tens in three races. 411,000. Got Daytona, Kentucky, New Hampshire. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know, man. So we're going to have to... Still just over... Just over $1.3 million away from getting another car in the shop. We can upgrade the arrow or the suspension, but really don't want to. Pit stops are all right so far. I was expecting more out of them. I don't know. We just got to, I guess we just got to sign our employees here and Go for broke here. Got beat around way too much too. This is terrible. So we gotta take our short track chassis to Daytona. And we got to hope for the best here. We're going to have a 79 on our engine. 76 on air on 76 on suspension. Man, we are going to be lacking so much speed. But, the good news is, with Daytona being a super speedway, we could still win this race. I mean, we came close to winning the Daytona 500 and we finished third. Talladega, we finished seventh. We have put good finishes together on super speedways this year. We were leading at Daytona coming to three to go. And we were leading Talladega coming to the checkered flag off of turn four. And we got just taken four wide there for a second. <laughs> just everybody freight trained around us to the finish. But we need, uh, we need a good showing here. Not even going to bother qualifying. I already know we're not going to have the speed. We don't even have a super speedway chassis. So, don't have the single car speed here. We're just going to have to hope for the best, unfortunately. NASCAR, NASCAR returns, returns to Daytona, Daytona for the running of the Coke, Coke Zero, Zero Sugar 400. 400. Hello, Hello race, race fans, fans. We're, we're halfway, halfway through what has so far been an amazing regular season. season. The, racing the racing action at Daytona, Daytona is as hot and, and unpredictable as the Florida weather. weather. We're, all we're all set, set to go, go 400 miles. miles. Well, Jimmy Johnson's on the pole. Here we come, we're rolling fast, but Daytona could happen. Ryan Blaney. Right. Favorite driver. So I believe we're starting in 38 out of 40. No, we're starting dead last. All right, so we got to go from last to first at Daytona without a super speedway chassis. We have five laps in the opening stage of the race. We'll see. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to probably pull off the pit strategy somehow, some way. So 11 laps on a full tank of fuel. I don't know, man. We might lose the draft here. Unfortunately, I'm trying, but we got no help behind us. I 
I'm, I mean, I'm trying. Foot's on the throttle. We gotta hope for a big one here. They get involved in the big one. Take some cars out of the race. That's about all we're gonna be able to hope for because things are not looking good early. This didn't even happen in the 500 for us either. I mean, we're just gonna have to ride it around and hope for the best. Man, this car's so slow, dude. 189, 190 miles an hour. We're out of the draft. Got no help. Just staying in the gas in case they get in a big one. Maybe jump a couple spots, but even if the big one comes out, I think we're gonna probably end up finishing Last regardless. For the stage. I think we brought a better car to Talladega too than what we did here at Daytona. We might, I mean, I could be wrong, but we might have actually had a better setup when we went to the Daytona 500 as well. All right, I'm just going to get out of the gas here. We're going to save as much fuel as we can. Because you never know. We're going to save as much fuel as we can. Many tires as possible. Let's just try to keep pace so the caution doesn't come out here we can just coast it this is as good of strategies we're gonna have to play here to try and win this race go down to the apron too we'll uh, save gas as much as we can here all right so we got a caution I don't think it was on us. No, caution's on Eric Jones. So, caution came out there. Stage ends prematurely. And uh, we're going to try the strategy here. We're going to stay out of the pits. I'm not sure how this is going to work because I don't know if they'll have to... I don't know if we're going to have to pit at the end of the stage or not. We'll see. Green flag in the air, stage number two underway. Be nice if we can get a stage win. We got one playoff point in case we do get that win and make it to the playoffs. Try to get another right here. We've got five laps in stage two. Let's try and hold on, of course, as best as we possibly can. Tires don't mean much here, so. I mean, you're going to have a little less grip. We should be fine for this stage at least. and Just have to see how we're going to go in the final stage of the race. But so far, so good. We're still trying to climb and get up to speed here. But inside line taking off right now. We just got to... Oh, my gosh. That was all me. I just lost my talent coming out of four there for a second. Still just a single file freight train line for right now. We got four laps to go in the stage. Here comes Logano. We just let our first lap under green here. Try to block Joey. I don't know, but here he goes. Couldn't block him coming out of turn two. He's trying to hold the bottom. Oh boy, here comes Jimmy. Stenhouse gonna try to help us up the middle here. Oh my gosh, Johnson was getting pushed by Ty Dillon as well. Oh, we made a little contact with uh, Chase Elliott. That was accidental. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think we're all right. For now. Need to get back down to the inside. and We're just not doing it right now. Nope, Bowman's there. Come. Oh, we're airborne. Oh my gosh, we just... We pulled a Brendan gone at Talladega last year. We, we landed back on all four wheels. What the heck? Oh my gosh, we just... I don't know if that was the end of the stage or not. I think it was. I think that was the end of the stage. Well, we got a pit anyway. We have a ton of damage. All right, 16th. That was something. I am not gonna lie. That was something. I mean, we, we took flight. It's like once we got turned backwards, I mean, we were just going so fast, obviously, and you, you see it. And actual stock cars, oh my gosh. Chris Buescher about turned us, tried to give us a push, but he hit us like right on the left rear, about spun us into the infield grass. But yeah, anyway, uh, we got turned backwards. Car just went up in the air. I mean, you know when the air gets under the car, it makes it so light. Took off like a like an airplane, man. But we landed back on all four. Like we we were in the air, but we landed on all all four wheels. I'll have to check the replay out at the end of this. That is, I think that might be the first time I've ever flipped a car in NASCAR Heat Four. I honestly do not remember flipping a car. You guys are like, oh, how have you not flipped a car? Because, I mean, I usually don't wreck. When I do, it seems like they're, like, realistic crashes. I mean, that was realistic. We're at Daytona, but... Man, that car just took off. Oh, boy. A little contact with Corey LaJoy. Yeah, we didn't need that. We're going to need a caution at some point here. We got seven laps to go. Yeah, we're not going to make it on fuel here. I know, it's like, well, why didn't you take fuel under the caution because I caused the caution. I don't take fuel or tires, man. It's just how I how I race. Try to race as fairly as possible. Speed wise in the middle of the pack we're running all right. I mean we're right about fifteenth, sixteenth right now, but I mean, we're not gonna make it much further here. I don't know how everybody else is on fuel. Oh my gosh, three wide middle, just gotta hold our line as best as we can here. Here comes Busher again. To keep an eye on that fuel gauge. I think we're gonna have to pit this time. Yeah, we're gonna have to pit this time and we're gonna take fuel only. And then we're gonna hope for a caution. Man, this is so unfortunate. We have not really had a shot to compete for the win here. I don't think we finished inside the top 10 in that stage either. I honestly had no clue where we finished. So now we just gotta make sure we don't speed. All right, good job getting onto pit road. Did not speed there. Can repair any damage we've got. And we'll take We'll just take three quarters of a tank of fuel just in case we can't make it. Oh boy. 9.8 seconds estimated here. We'll stay on the lead lap. Fuel only. Yep, gas and go, here we go. Out onto the racetrack we go. 
Well, we had the big one once already and we were involved in it. Now we gotta hold on to the lead lap in case the caution comes out and everybody ends up pitting uh, in case they can't make it on fuel to the end of the race. Because they are gonna catch us in no time here with us not having a drafting partner. And then being in a huge pack, of course. So we gotta hold on to the lead lap. I don't know, we'll see. I really hope they can't make it on gas. Got four to go, three to go now for Kyle Busch and them guys behind us. So if caution's gonna come out, obviously it's gonna have to come out with two laps or less to go. I'd like it to come out like right now. If we go to overtime, they'll probably all pit. Oh boy. Oh, here comes Paul Menard. He's got Castle pushing him. Come on, Bush. You gotta push us, man. What is going on here? Nobody wants to help us. Almost looking like Talladega in a sense because of it. Caution. You gotta be kidding me, man. Right when we get the caution. Looks like the only guy pitting is Corey LaJoy. I think LaJoy might have been involved in the wreck. We're, in, we're gonna go to overtime, so maybe they can't make it on gas. I would like to think they probably can, but might as well pit now. Got nothing to lose. Get as many points as possible here. Man, Daytona was not good to us this time around. So unfortunate. So we're gonna need a miracle at Watkins Glen is likely going to be my last hope to actually get a win. I know you can say, well, there's way more races than Watkins Glen left, which is true, but Watkins Glen on that road course really the only other race track that we can probably perform at. Anywhere else, it just doesn't seem that way. Come on, Corey. There we go. Or LaJoy going to give us a nice little push down the back stretch here. If we get to the white flag, the next flag will end the race, whether it would be the yellow or the checker. And Michael McDowell just pulled down in front of us. Saw us having a big run. He wanted to hop in front of us and take the big run himself. Yeah. Corey LaJoy trying to get us going here. We're up to 35th. White flag is in the air. One lap to go. Paul Menard's leading this race. He has not won yet this year. That could be bad on our chances of trying to make it to the playoffs. So he's below 16th in the points. And we've just got nowhere to go right now. I mean, we're just kind of boxed in. There we go. Coil Joy giving us a big push down the back straightaway, too. We got nobody in front of us, though, to get a draft off of. Ooh, a little contact there with McDowell. We're good. Ooh, oh, oh, contact with Busher. At the line, 31st. Man, we are having a tough stretch of races. Yeah, we're putting ourselves in more and more of a must-win situation here as the races climb on. We're not getting stage points. Paul Menard gets the win. Park, man, Park Kligerman almost won. Coke Zero 400. It's crazy. So Paul Menard gets the win. He's outside of the top 16, so that hurts us. So that now means Ryan Blaney 13th in points is the last guy in on points right now. Because Almarola's behind him and has won a race. Kyle Larson's behind him and has won a race. And now Paul Menard's behind him that has won a race. So that means even though we're 20th in points, we actually have to get to 13th to make it in. And we're 105 points behind Blaney with eight races to go. Man, things are just not looking good for us here. We gotta finish top 10 the next two races miraculously just to get a uh, 
sponsorship bonus. We haven't gotten sponsorship uh, bonuses in a while. That's hurting us pretty bad, too. I don't know, man. Up over 700,000 fans. We got 1.6 million. On to Kentucky. Oh, don't let that ruin your whole season. Eh, well, it just might. Uh, we had some high hopes, big implications there. and We never once lived up to them. I, the best shot we had was if we could have at least kept the car from flipping at the end of uh, stage two there. I didn't even look at the replay. I don't know, I'll have to go back and watch it before I edit the video. Just to see. Yeah, Kentucky's the next race. Things are just not looking very good in the slightest for us here. I want to just upgrade the air on the suspension, but we really need a third car here. When So Watkins Glen, we have three races before Watkins Glen. So in three races, we need to earn one a little over 1.1 million in three races if we want to have a road course car for Watkins Glen. That's going to be tough. Man, we're saving like crazy right now, but that's going to be tough. Because, I mean, we could upgrade the suspension and the aero there, but then we're not going to have a road course chassis. We need a road course chassis. Bad. So we really got to perform these next three races if we're going to want anything good when we go to Watkins Glen. Well, that's going to be all for this one, I guess. Uh, for more daily NASCAR content, Hit the subscribe button down below. Hopefully you guys join in for the next coming videos. We got eight races before the playoffs on the career mode here, and we're not looking good in our rookie season to make the playoffs. We need uh, probably in a must-win scenario because we're 105 points behind the cutoff line. So I mean, we're looking at Watkins Glen, and if we can't get the win there, can't perform well there, it might be uh, SOL. So yeah, hope to see you guys then. Catch you in the next video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the vid as well. Hit the bell notification so you guys don't miss an upload. And I'll see you.